Welcome back to the Knockout Lounge. I'm your host Bruce Lee, and this is episode number two. Before I get in depth, I just want to stop and thank all the subscribers that subscribe to my channel. Uh, that they came by and showed your boy some love. I appreciate that, and I hope I be able to deliver more content so we can chew on and talk about this boxing thing. As as you know, I'm starting out doing my YouTube thing with the boxing commentary. I do appreciate. Appreciate the love. And as we all know, as we all know by now, B Hop is the new light heavyweight champion of the world. As he took out Gene Pascal in a highly competitive bout on last night, which was May 21st. B Hop said he was going to wear uh, Pascal down, which he did in the later rounds. You know, Pascal got a little winded, uh, which is, you know, just mind boggling to me. I mean, you. You're supposed to be the best in the world, you know, in your division, you know, in your division, but your stamina is not good enough. But anyway, that's that's another topic, but congratulations to B-Hop as he went ahead and relieved Gene Pascal of his light heavyweight title. Uh, since we're in the light heavyweight division, uh, Cleverly also won his, uh, his bout uh, for the WBO, well, he's the WBO champion. Uh, he had to fight a step-in dude, which he took care of him in, in four rounds, no problem. And since we're still in the UK, uh, the bout between Daigle and Groves was a was a war. You know, it started off a little boring. I'm not going to lie to you. Uh, really on Daigle's part. I mean, all he was doing to me was clenching and hugging and throwing a little elbow here, a little shoulder there. But as the fight went on, I mean, it, it, it turned into a war in the later rounds, which Groves pulled off. As you know, these two are, are bitter amateur rivals, well, now professional rivals. And, and Groves said there's no re rematch right now for Daigle. Uh, so Daigle going to have to take another path to, to get back to Groves. But Groves was like, this is it. I done fought him, what, a couple of times in the amateurs. Uh, one time in the pro rank, you know, the pro rankings. This is it, man. I'm going on with my career. I see him down the road. Which that was a highly competitive bite, uh, bout that, that Groves pulled off. I, I got a chance to watch that fight on Epics on tape delay. Hey, it was free. I'll take free fights. <laughs> I will take free fights. But he went ahead and, and took care of business in, uh, for the British Commonwealth Super Middleweight title. Also, on the Friday Night Fights, we had Joel Julio Lovechild uh, coming through and, and basically take care of his business, uh, winning winning by decision. I mean, it it really wasn't well, it wasn't a close fight at all. Uh, he went and took care of it, took care of his business and and laid the smackdown as you would say. And in the first fight, the co-feature uh, Saddam Ali from the U.S. from Brooklyn. He went ahead and took care of his business, uh, improved to 13 and 0. Uh, he fought a guy out of Louisiana, which he he handled for the most part. It was an eight rounder. Uh, basically, he won all the rounds. It's, you know, well, I say all, but maybe one or two. But that last round, he got himself into trouble uh, because uh, Revis, not Revis, but Revis, whatever his name is, from Louisiana in the welterweight division. He clocked him with a good shot that wobbled uh, Saddam. And he was almost, you know, about to get knocked out, but he, he held on. He held on the eight to go ahead and, and pull out the victory to improve his record and, and, and hopefully improve, improve to him, you know, to get up there as the ranks, uh, get up there in the ranks and everything. Uh, but I, I do want to inform you the super middleweight bout, the second semifinal between Glenn Johnson and, and Carl Frost will be June 4th. Uh, come up here is that when a couple of weeks yeah in a couple of weeks I will have my official prediction on on that fight next week and you have Cristobal Ariola back in action on Friday night fights coming up here on May 27th uh, he, he's back in action he, he's actually back in action pretty quick there real quick I mean he just fought what last month a couple of months ago something like that but anyway he's back in action trying to stay busy and oh my goodness, uh, Tony Thompson is in the IBF uh, heavyweight title eliminator. Tony Thompson, people. Heavyweight division stinks, as we all know. It just stinks, flat out stinks. 
That's why I'm knocking on my head and, and bowing in and everything else. Tony Thompson is in the IBF title eliminator fight in the heavyweight division again. Please, somebody help us. But anyway, um, I want to touch briefly on the American and Tim Bradley saga. As we, as you know, if you didn't know, American Alpha Bradley half of his UK pay-per-view buys, uh, but still no word from the Bradley camp. Yo, Tim A. Yo, Tim. You out there? Look at your boy. If you say you can beat Amir, you called him out on HBO's Boxing After Dark. Go ahead and take that money and, 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 and go ahead and win. You know, we all know it will be a decision if you do win. Go ahead and take that money so you can get on the more high-profile fights. I mean, hey, I mean, I'll take the fight. Just tell me where to go. I'll take the fight, Tim. And Amir, you better start running your mouth to us. Zab. I don't think you want none of that. Not right now. You're not ready. You're not on Zab's level. He don't need you. You need him. You're not on Zab's level, so stop running your mouth before you get yourself in trouble. And you better try to pursue Bradley like you've been doing. <laughs> but please, hush it up. Unless you want to eat some canvas. Yeah, boy, <laughs> unless you want to eat some canvas. But anyway, anyway, let me get off of that. But that's just a little brief update. And, um, well, that's all your boy got for you today. I mean, I didn't have much to talk about, you know, but congratulations to B-Hop as a new world, uh, oldest world title holder ever, the light heavyweight champion. I got something for you to chew on. Hmm. Yeah, yeah, I got something for you to chew on. What? This is, I should say the question of the week, question of the day. Tell me, what, what do you think Sergio Martinez should do? Who he should fight next? Because I don't think there's anyone out there for him right now in the middleweight division. I mean, the guy's a beast. You know Sergio from Argentina. The guy's a beast. But but let me know. I mean, I, I would like to know that. Let's kick something around because I would like to know who you think he, he should fight next. Because I have no clue. I don't know who's out there for him. I, you know, I, let your boy know something. Please let your boy know something. But anyway, I'm, I'll get up out of here. I will uh, see, talk to you guys face-to-face uh, -face next week. You know, next week. I might put up some Wednesday or Thursday, but you never know. But, but go ahead and uh, check your boy out. And um, just like Roy Jones last night in Russia, peace out!